All right, howdy folks, welcome back to Top Comics Pressing. Uh, this one's gonna be kind of a montage video. So I've had a bunch of small orders go to CGC, and instead of having a whole bunch of independent unboxing videos, what I thought I would do is just throw them together in rapid fire. Um, it's gonna be a lot of orders that have, you know, less than five comic books in it. A lot of them might only be one comic book, but they were cool enough unboxings. I wanted to share them uh, with you all. And so uh, I figured I would just uh, string them together into a sequence of videos. So stay tuned. That's what's coming right on up starting now. All right, folks, this is going to be a CGC unboxing video, and right here we've got a fresh one back from CGC. Uh, this one should contain an absolute, true Marvel Silver Age Grail comic book. And uh, I'm not going to go any further into it, because I'm going to hold you in suspense here while we take a peek at what will hopefully be an absolutely awesome one to pick up here. Oh, I totally botched that slice. I know everybody makes fun of me for the scissors, but I love it and I can't get over it, so don't judge. All right, here we go. This is a single comic book order and went through CGC unlimited value tier. Got checked in, graded, encapsulated, and sent back to me in about a business week. Here we go. We've got all the important paperwork. This one is a Journey into Mystery, number 83, the first appearance of Thor. That one's a pretty epic early Marvel introduction. Obviously one of the key players in the original Avengers. Obviously the original Avengers number one features Thor and Loki on the cover. Uh, and not only that, a major, major character to the MCU. Uh, this one's coming in CGC graded 1.5, which is awesome. I personally was aiming for a 1.0 on this copy. And so I was thrilled here to see this 1.5 copy um, and uh, this one is coming to us I purchased this one raw from hot comics and collectibles in Minneapolis so if you ever get the chance to visit hot comics and collectibles I will say I was happy with the purchase price uh, and uh, all in all how this one turned out now if you're looking at it and you're thinking geez Joe that looks pretty sharp for a 1.5 I will point out uh, on the back here there is a very large chunk of the back cover missing um, there is a pretty big chunk out of the spine missing here as well as uh, up here and so there's really two big chunks out uh, the top staple was fully detached on the the back part but there was still a little bit of paper underneath the tongue of the staple I don't know how that managed to actually make it on there uh, but the little piece of paper that goes under the staple was still connected so that was okay uh, and then this staple was connected most of the spine is quite heavily split and frayed though and so we didn't do a whole lot on this one other than give it a dry clean and a press to flatten them out before being entombed uh, in carbonate here. I'm happy this one is encased. Um, honestly was not the comic I thought I was going to be picking up at this time, but when the opportunity arose, I just couldn't couldn't not snag it. Uh, and so big shout out to Hot Comics and Collectibles for letting me bring home this true piece of Marvel history. And um, yeah, so that's it on this one. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned uh, and keep collecting what you like, true believers. All right, howdy folks. Welcome back to another segment here for our unboxing collage. This one is hopefully going to be one that will rest right up here for quite some time. Uh, and it arrived with maybe a little bit of damage here on the edge. Let's see if you can see that, if you can see that right there. And on the other side here, kind of along um, the, this open edge, so you can see that there's some crunching down there. But all in all, you know, the box feels secure. And if this is what I think it is, it's going to be a full cover sketch that I picked up from uh, a seller or a consigner via Elite Comics on Instagram. They're one of the, the bigger Instagram sellers that work with a bunch of uh, dealers and consigners. Uh, I've had probably four or five transactions with them so far and every one of them shipped pretty quick. They're usually pretty prompt about giving me uh, tracking information and so I always appreciate that. And um, this one could be a big one here for the personal collection. So as you know, I'm a big Usagi Yojimbo fan and I'm also a big Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fan. And hopefully you won't ask me argue between which one I'm a bigger fan of because that's, that's just cruel. Um, but this one, I hope, is what I've been waiting for here. CGC Signature Series 
sketch cover. It's a good amount of bubble wrap. Good amount of bubble wrap. Good amount of tape holding it all together. There it is. 9.8 white pages. This is a limited uh, cover by Kevin Eastman. And this one is actually signed and sketched by Kevin Eastman. So this was a blank cover as part of his web page. And you can see it has a uh, legit Sharpie autograph there and it has what I thought was just a beautiful, awesome, full cover Usagi Yojimbo sketch. I mean, how awesome is that? Not only is it sketched, it's colored. It's got some light shading up there. This thing to me looked epically awesome and I could not pass it up. This was an immediate click buy claim as fast as humanly possible and it is even better in person. So this one is a really, really awesome sketch. It's so much fun to have a Kevin Eastman done Usagi Yojimbo. Stan Sakai regularly does Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for fans of both series and I guess I'm going to be on the hunt to see if I can add a Stan Sakai Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle full cover uh, to my PC to complement that one. Uh, and anyway, this one uh, makes me really excited, super happy to have that one. So big shout out to uh, Wade, who is the consigner, and then Ali at Elite Comics for helping me bring that one home for the PC. And hopefully that one's gonna sit right up there. Let me see if I can move the glare out of the way here a little bit so we can all see it. Whoop. Ugh. Ugh. All right right up there for quite some time. All right, take care everybody. All right, here we are with another unboxing video at Top Comics Pressing. In this box, fresh from CGC, I hope we find a second copy of this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Storm Drain Samers ash can. So this was a very small story that was written and officially published by Mirage Studios uh, for the Santa Monica Bay Restoration Project. And so this is an official uh, Ninja Turtle comic book from 1990. Uh, and as you can see here, it's a, it's a much smaller ash can. It's got um, two total sheets of paper glued together at the spine. There are no staples. Um, and the story is front back, front back, front back, front back, front back. So it's eight pages. Uh, and you can see it has the copyright and credits uh, on the back. So um, very rare item to have. Uh, there were about 10 of these on the CGC census last time I checked. And I think that number um, was about the same. So it's probably not more than maybe a dozen at, at the most now. Um, uh, and uh, a few of them were lower grade. The majority are in uh, 98 condition, presumably, because people know if you have one of these and if it was kept nice and smooth and flat, uh, you can get a nice grade. So I sent a second copy. When, when I got this copy, I was uh, very lucky uh, to find a sister copy. And so I worked on this one pressed it, cleaned it, um, sent it, wanted to make sure I got a 9.8 on, on this copy. And then uh, next time CGC had a Kevin Eastman signing, I sent a second copy and that's the one that's in this box. And so I'm very anxious to see what they did. Now I did also send a nice note with the, the um, comic book asking Kevin Eastman to very quickly um, uh, color in the headband around the Ninja Turtle or if he was willing to uh, splash some green on the turtle with the red headband. I thought that would be really nice on the cover. So we'll have to see if that did or did not occur as well as what the grade is. The good news is unlike some of my recent uh, books back from CGC, this one does not show obvious signs of damage to the exterior of the box, uh, which is quite nice. Um, and the bubble wrap is intact, which also makes me happy. Um, the good news, the good news is we got another 98 white pages. That's about as good as it gets right there. Signed by Kevin Eastman, 11, uh, 23. So that's right around Thanksgiving. Um, the really good news is he did also sign in red as requested. Um, the kind of sad news though is it does not look like he was able to spare the time to, to color in the little headband on the Ninja Turtle like requested. Um, oh well, that's how it goes. You know, it's, it does take extra time from the artists and creators to, to do that. And really you're just paying for a signature. So I'm sure it's at their, um, their discussion. So a little bummed out about that, that we couldn't spare a little, little splash of ink on the headband. Uh, but oh well, that's how it goes. Very awesome to have the Kevin Eastman autographed 9.8. That red signature looks awesome on the black and white cover. Uh, and this one now, I guess I'll have two of these and I'll have to decide which one to keep in the PC and which one to, to move along um, 
but that'll be a discussion or a topic for another day. Uh, absolutely thrilled to have, I honestly never thought I'd get one of these. I thought these would be like the white whale where I knew that they existed, but I never actually uh, came across one. And I was just dumbfounded to be in the right place at the right time to nab two of them. Uh, and not only did I nab two of them, now they're both 98 copies at CGC, which I couldn't be more thrilled with. So with that, that is a pretty, pretty serious cowabunga dude to sign off here. So thank you, cowabunga. Keep on collecting. All right, howdy folks, welcome back to Top Comics Pressing. We've got an unboxing here to compile, and uh, this should be a single comic order that is fresh back from CGC. This thing was originally submitted as part of the trip I took to Rose City Comic Con in September of 2023, where I got to meet Stan Sakai, as well as a bunch of other really great creators. Uh, as the time of this recording, it is mid-February 2024. And in case you didn't notice, there's a pretty big gap between uh, September 2023 and um, February 2024. So let me give you a rundown. Uh, this should hopefully be a Batman 608 that is triply signed uh, second printing. And it should be pretty epic. So I bought it as a 9-0 gold label with uh, Jim Lee signing it. And I got to have Loeb sign it at Rose City. And then I handed it to Captured Collectibles to take with them to New York City Comic Con to have William sign it. And so I'm hoping I have Jim Lee and uh, Loeb and Williams all having signed the same copy. Now it was a 9-0 copy and it had a bunch of light finger bends on it. And so I submitted it to CCS Pressing. Um, New York City Comic Con concluded at the end of October, mid-October, and it then went to CGC. So CGC physically had the book in October. October, by the end of October, and it took them till the end of November to check it into their system, which made me a little nervous. Um, okay, here's the submission forms. Yes. Uh, and unfortunately, the modern press on this book took all the way from the end of November to the end of January, at which point I was a little grouchy because it was well beyond the advertised uh, 15 days for it. And... Um, you know, and then it had to go through the modern grading process. Uh, and so I submitted as a 9-0. It had a bunch of light finger bends. It's coming back a 9-2. Here's the Jim Lee autograph. So that one looks really awesome. And then we've got Williams and Loeb down here. So you can see those two. So that's really awesome. That completes the trifecta. Now this thing had just an inordinate number of light finger bends on it. The spine is actually super sharp. Um, although it seems to have accumulated a little bit of a tick there. Uh, I was very surprised that the CCS pressing did not get this more of a bump. I was expecting to hit a 9.6 um, because it only had light finger bends on the cover and you know maybe that spine tick that accumulated somewhere uh, between its trip from Portland to New York and down to Florida and so you know the spine those light spine stress lines do happen um, but you know it still came back with the primary defect being light finger bends and so I was disappointed after a CCS press that I went from uh, moderate finger bends to moderate finger bends especially because it took that press a two months so at least to me this one is both a win and a loss. I was disappointed in the lack of ability to remove those finger bends. Now you've heard me say on the channel, sometimes those finger bends are permanent, particularly if they go through um, color. So CGC will call something a finger bend, even if it does crack gloss and color. But when this thing was out of the slab and I was looking at it, I was expecting it to press up like a true gem and bump from that 9.0 to about a 9.6. So I'm considering that a loss. Uh, the turnaround time was definitely a loss. Um, but the good news is I now do have a triply signed uh, Batman 608 second edition, which has got to be one of the most epic Batman covers from the modern run, uh, and a true all-star team uh, to complete the trifecta of autographs. So while I'm a little bit grouchy about what that says, and I'm a little bit grouchy it took me so long to get it back, I am absolutely ecstatic to have this one uh, back home and in the PC. And I even cleared out a spot here on the wall for it. And so hopefully this one will hang right over yonder for a good period of time, right next to my, my three jokers. So I think I can have one modern all-star Batman team stare at the second all-star Batman team over there. And I can't, uh, can't argue with that. So, um, 
you know, it is what it is. I just call them like I see them and I'm here to report the outcome. So that's how this one turned out. Hopefully you've been enjoying the uh, unboxing collage here. So do click that subscribe button, uh, reach out with any questions you might have or any comments and please leave a thumbs up. Uh, and don't forget to check us out on uh, Facebook or Instagram. So take care everybody. Keep on clicking what you like. If it's signature series, cool. If it's not, that's okay too.